What's good, YouTube? Um, before I get started here, what you are seeing today is um, part of my bodybuilding block, doing squats, 375 pounds for five sets of 10. Um, if you want to hear something funny, I'm actually leaving the gym right now. Um, the day after I did those squats, I did bench. And I also used 375 pounds for sets of 10. Although I only did three sets, not five. Um, still, it's kind of funny. But anyway, um, what I want to talk to you about today, um, the idea actually popped in my head while I was watching this. Um, it is... Should you always be using platform perfect technique? And no, you don't always have to use platform perfect technique, in my humble opinion. I have no science to back this up. Um, all I know is how I train and how many others at a high level of competition in powerlifting train and myself when I'm doing especially this bodybuilding block um, you can see my squats my depth is not the greatest here uh, the shorts and the camera angle are kind of skewing that view as well but I'll be the first to admit uh, a lot of these are high and I don't really care right now because my emphasis is on the bodybuilding part um, as Cali Muscle would say that time under tension um, but that's, I'm working on building the muscle right now right now um, other than staying safe, you know, in good form in that light, um, I'm not worried about if all of these squats would get white lights on the platform. Um, it's not like you're going to do a set of 10 on the platform when you're competing anyway. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you don't always have to have platform perfect technique. Now, you do need to keep good form, stay in safe position to um, <clears throat> prevent injuries and whatnot. And I'm not telling you to go start doing not platform perfect technique. Um, if you do do platform perfect technique for every set of every rep, um, by all means keep doing it. I'm not saying that's a wrong way. I'm just saying you don't have to use platform perfect technique every set of every rep that you ever do in training ever. And you know, in before, oh practice like you compete. Yes, and as you guys will see, as I get into my meat prep, um, as I get closer with lower reps and start to do my doubles and singles, um, platform technique will become more of an emphasis because I'm not going to get red lighted for, you know, depth or something of that nature, uh, technical. Um, if I get red lights, it's going to be because I wasn't strong enough to move the weight is what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, uh, winding down this video, um, that is what it is. Uh, again, I'm no expert and don't start doing something because I said it's okay to do it. But, you know, if that is something you do, feel free to do it. Burr.